morning, church. If you're new or just visiting, we'd like to welcome you to Springfield Christian Family. Let's see what's happening over the next few weeks. I can beat the night. I'm not afraid of thunder. Last Monday, our Seeds fundraising dinner was a great success. Here's a few highlights from the night. Christian women are hosting a boutique conference called Our Hope. Pastor Donna Crouch from Hillsong Church is the guest speaker. The cost is only $10 online or $15 at the door. The QCW boutique conference is this Saturday night and is open to women of all ages. Arr, lassie. Connect Youth be having a good old chuckle at the center. I'll see you at 7 p.m. this Friday. Make sure you're dressing like me. Bring five or you'll be walking the plank. That is it for Church News today. If you like more details of today's announcements or a recording of today's message, head to the church website. You prayed and believed your whole life, and here you are. Explain that to me. What do you say to people that are offended by your show because you pray to Jesus in every episode? If we disown Him, He'll disown us. When a 12-year-old watches his mother dying of cancer, a God who would allow that is not worth believing in. Life is really a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury and signifying nothing. I am Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. I would like to bypass senseless debate altogether and jump to the conclusion which every sophomore is already aware of. There is no God. All that I require from each of you so that you fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. Mr. Wheaton, is something wrong? I can't do what you want, I'm a Christian. If you cannot bring yourself to admit that God is dead, then you will need to defend the antithesis. So your acceptance of this challenge may be the only meaningful exposure to God and Jesus they'll ever have. Hey, to me, he's not dead. I don't want anyone to get talked out of believing in him just because this professor thinks they should. Mr. Wheaton, are you ready? God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside, roaring like a lion. God's not dead, surely alive. He's living on the inside, roaring like a lion. Science supports his existence. You know the truth. So why do you hate him? It's a very simple question. Why do you hate God? He's surely alive He's living on the 